test assessing reading and math skills of Clark County School District students reveals a possible learning loss during distance education. No real surprise there. Kristen Drummond, however, joins us live in the newsroom with these results and areas of concern. Kristen. Kirsten, students from kindergarten through 10th grade took the MAP growth assessment last month, which stands for Measure of Academic Progress. It identifies what children know and what they're expected to learn by the end of the school year, but some question the results during distance education. It's not helpful at all to look at these test scores. A father's frustration with the MAP assessment. For them to, to call this a standardized test when there's no standardization whatsoever. Josh Curtis has four children in CCSD schools. He says most did not perform well. My uh, kindergartner, he, his MAP testing, he, he identified zero out of 26 letters. Uh, the fifth grader went horrible. She went, uh, she declined. Slightly. The results reveal only 84% of CCSD students participated in the test. This data set shows the projected proficiency between third and eighth grade. Students in grades three, four, and six are expected to achieve grade level reading proficiency at or above the national average by the spring, as highlighted in green. I know a lot of people have been reading more since that you know since a lot of activities are removed during the pandemic Rebecca Garcia is the Nevada Parent Teacher Association president while she notices slight improvement the math findings remain troubling the expected math proficiency for students in grades 4 5 6 7 and 8 is below the national projection but she questions the accuracy of the findings is this really where everybody's at or is this a reflection of kind of taking it in such a unique environment. Some parents not stressing about the results. So at this point, I, I'm not concerned at all. While Curtis wants the district to toss them out. Uh, so I don't even know why they took it serious or why they even did it if, if you can't really get reliable results. Now, some in the district tell me the results for kindergarten through second grade were skewed at schools because of likely additional help in the homes. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now.